Hi everyone, this is Janice and welcome to Graphic45. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my process on how I created this mini album using the Mother Goose Deluxe Collector's Edition. The first thing I did was cut up two pieces of foam sheet at 5 by 7 inches and one foam sheet at 1.5 by 7 inches. Then I covered it with Ring Around the Rosies. And I am using a cold laminating film with a leather texture to both cover and bind the spine and the front back covers together. Then I'm using Sunshine Stripe on the inside of my covers along with some white ribbon to close my book. And then I'm just taking some white cardstock and cutting them at about half an inch smaller than my covers and stitching three of them into the spine. I made everything from scratch on this project and honestly, I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> so to get rid of any imperfections on my stitching, because I'm not exactly the best seamstress, I am using a portion of the stickers and using that as a sort of design for my spine. But really I'm just covering up the uneven stitching there. And then all that's left to do is decorate the cover. Now the reason why I'm not taking this in a way it's a lot less meticulous than most of my projects is because this is a project my daughter has asked me to do for her. She loved the papers in this collection and has asked me if I could make her a storybook out of it and 
I don't really know what to make with that. So I decided to create an album and put her kindergarten pictures in it as it is graduation season here in the Philippines and I thought it would be a great graduation gift for her. So yeah, I have a great schooler by the next school year and my maternal side is feeling a little bit of mixed emotions about it. So like, I'm so proud that she's grown up and at the same time, I don't want her to go up because I'm losing my baby, you know. I'm sure a lot of you are feeling that way too with your own kids. But anyway, I'm just going about this mixing in the flowers. Um, and the chipboards and the stickers. I glued in the papers to serve as the backgrounds and some of which I created pockets in between so I didn't glue certain sides. Mostly, I made use of Little Boy Blue and Storytime as note cards and decoratives and placeholders for photos and such.
I also used some of the black washi tape and use that to create some inside pages for the note cards. I wasn't sure yet what I wanted to do with this part so I tried that out and in case I didn't like it or I changed my mind later on I can remove it easily without damaging the paper. I also fuzzy cut pieces from nursery rhymes and use them as decorations and areas where I can kind of slip in my photos.
and this is how it looks like. The ideal photo size for this album is 3 by 4 inches on the placeholders but again you can change it up in whatever way fits better for your aesthetic. In my case I also use some of my um, Instax photos so as you can see you can slip it in in between any of the parts that I created and change up the backgrounds if you want. You can add in different other elements. Um, it's very easy to kind of add in anything you want to do with it. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Graphic45's YouTube channel. Follow us on social media. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!